Um, but okay, here, real quick. Yeah, dark and darker news. This came out last night while we were playing Lies of P. Uh, uh, we would like to gather some additional player data prior to the large upcoming balance changes that are planned in the next updates, which I think that's Friday. I think the big update that they're talking about is this Friday, and there might be a wipe again, which I'm excited for. I hope there's another wipe. Um, one of the things we're looking to analyze is player participation rate based on the risk reward of the high roller dungeons. In order to test this, we will update the entrance costs and total player numbers of the high roller dungeons with the following changes. The Goblin Caves high roller, 100 gold entrance fee, and six players per match? The Howling Crypts High Roller, 150 gold entrance fee and 12 players per match? What the fuck, dude? We have several other changes in the works to improve the risk slash reward balance of the High Roller Dungeons in the upcoming updates. The next large update uh, known as EA Patch Number 1 is scheduled to be released this Friday. We'll hold a live Q&A soon to elucidate our thoughts and upcoming plans. Uh, thank you for your patience. This update is where we're going to get, I think, Warlocks being able to summon. I think uh, I think that's going to be a big part of it. And hopefully there's a wipe. We'll see. Um, but this is... Uh, I don't think a lot of people like this. I, I was watching Repose today like as I was falling asleep. And they were dodging the High Roller. They, they didn't play High Roller today. They were playing the normal dungeon. 150 is too much. Way too much. 100 is too much, too. I think it should be 25 gold for the high roller. But I think a lot of people are dodging it. And I think a lot of people think this is just a bad change. But like they said in the, the paragraph before, they're just testing things out. I'm sure they're going to revert this and go back. It's also weird how it's like 6 players and 12 players. Kind of odd. But I'm sure they're just testing things out like this. They're trying to collect some data. So. Like, uh, when it comes to these updates, I try not to ever be like, Oh my god, they're ruining the game? What the heck is going on? Because, like, they're it's early access. They're testing things out. The fact that they're pushing updates and things so quickly just makes me have so much faith in them that they're always going to keep doing the right thing. They're going to try something. If it doesn't work, they're going to revert it. Stuff like that. Um... Uh, <laughs> you're in my heart, Jabam. Uh, dude, I got one exit and I got a hundred gold. That's, uh, like, do you mean like in, you went to the high roller? But, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I think that a hundred gold entrance fee for the high roller ones and 150, that's way too much. Way too much. Nobody wants to do it now. Uh, you hope they don't remove it. Why? You think it should be this much, Da Bomb? Why? Explain. Uh, Steam when, like I said last night, I mean, like and like I've said, it's literally not up to them when Steam it gets put on Steam. That's all up to Steam. Um, and as we talked about last night, and I brought it up, Nexon filed an appeal for the the United States uh, dismissal. So that's probably why Steam hasn't put it up. They were just waiting to see what would happen with that. Um, praying for a wipe so I uh, cannot get slapped. Well, the thing is, is level 1 through 14, you're only going up against people that are level 1 through 14. And uh, once you hit 15, then you're only in lobbies with people that are 15 and up. Unless somebody is at 15 and they have somebody in their group that's under 15, then you're going up against uh, those types of people. But that was a change they made last week. And honestly, the rounds that we played in those lobbies... Um, if I liked it. It, it, it was nice. It, it made me think I'm gonna constantly just kind of even before wipes make new characters so I can just go up against like more uh, like a, a level playing field instead of going up against level 15 and ups who are like super geared and everything like that. Um. Oh, you, whoever makes it out of the high roller lobby should get all the gold that was put in. So like if you so say you have to pay 150 to enter. You get your 150 back. Yeah, that could be a thing for sure. I'm sure they'll lower the cost. If not, just remove it. They, uh, 
for like a couple days they had it free and that was right before my internet went out for a week i had one night where i got to experience the high roller dungeon for free and i was going around pickpocketing everybody it was so great and i was gonna do that for the next few days but then my internet went out and i couldn't do it and then when i got back they they brought it up it was 50 gold i think 50 is enough 50 is enough some people it's very easy to get gold in this game not everybody though um maybe just got lucky i think it should cost something that kind of makes sense yeah a little bit a little bit but i just think like having it too much is going to deter people from going at all 50 is perfect yeah i'm cool with 25 but 50 is cool too yeah fuck next on all my homies hate next on that's right um i thought you had to opt into the no, no no once you hit 15 you're automatically put in the 15 pool like I said, unless like you have like you're in a group with somebody that's level 15 and you're under 15, then you get put in there as well. But once you're 15, you can't opt into like going into the under 15 lobbies. Oh, and you get the gold from everybody else that paid too. That would be crazy. That would be a, oh my god. That would fucking the economy would go crazy. Repose and Jay would be the richest people in Dark and Darker. They would, they would have all the gold. Yeah, they want to find a limit of how much is too much. Yeah, I agree. It's also, like I said, it's weird how they like lowered the player counts. Six players in the goblin caves, twelve in the the high in the the crypts. Like it's usually eighteen for both. That's interesting. But uh. But yeah, we'll see what happens Friday. I don't. They haven't confirmed that there's going to be a wipe on Friday, but there is a big patch coming. I have a feeling that's when we're going to get the Warlock Summon ability, which I might start playing some Warlock next week if that's the case. Um, but uh, yeah, we should do some Dark and Darker tonight. We'll, we'll play some, uh, some Cleric again, and then we'll also do some Rogue because I have a bunch of gold on there that if they're going to do a wipe, I might as well just get rid of it. Buy a bunch of Bis gear and, and use it. Yeah, knuck if you buck. Nine for Goblin. Yeah, I think 18. I, I don't know why they would lower it. I don't know. I'm, I'm cool with it just being the normal player limit. I want to run into people. I don't want it to be like super sparse where I'm not seeing anybody. I think when you lower it too much, that's going to fuck up the economy. Too many more people are going to get out. Everybody's going to get out with a bunch of loot. Whereas, like, the whole point is, like, it's supposed to be fucking hard. You're supposed to be going up against really hard NPCs and harder players who are going to stop you from getting out with all that loot that you want to get out with and get all your gold. The only the best of the best should make it out. They shouldn't be babying people. No one is going to be buying in the trade chat at that point. Too many sellers. At what point? What do you mean? Let's, uh, here, actually, you know what? Since we're talking about Dark and Darker, let's watch this Spud Hunter video. This will kill the game. If everyone gets out sweat for yeah, yeah, and everybody's gonna, like, have a ton of gold. Let's fuck up the economy. But, uh...